Hi guys. Okay, today I'm very, very, very excited. Okay, today we are going to be doing a review on the Jawbreaker Collection. Now, I already did a review on the Mini Breaker eyeshadow palette. If you have yet to see that, I will have it linked at the top of the description box down below. I will not be playing with this palette since I already did a review on this palette, but we will compare this palette to the big one. Now, in this box, which I have yet to open, and I need to open it because I'm very, very excited. Uh, in this box, I have the big Jawbreaker palette and three lip products, and that's all I got from the collection. I try to only get things that I know I will use and that appeal to me, and that's just what appealed to me. My hair is looking lovely today. Don't worry, it'll get put back here in a minute and we'll jump right into it, but I can't get this box open fast enough. Now, I ordered from Beautylish, so my order got here a lot quicker than if you were to order from his website, but this is what the packaging looks like. Beautylish always has the cutest packaging. Um, so let's pull this out, and then they always give you a little thing and it's got your order in it and it's always packaged very very nicely on the bottom as well so this is everything this is it all packaged very nicely in here let's try to pull this up and I love their tissue paper it's Jeffrey's tattoos like these are his tattoos on paper so cute okay Let's get that out of the way. This is what it looks like. This is just uh, tissue paper. I have the palette, the lip products, and the free. Oh, okay. This is the free product, but I've actually used this before, and I really liked it, but it was really expensive, so I wasn't going to rebuy it. This is the R & Co. Acid Wash, and this is like a wash for your, it's a wash for your hair, but it's to remove all like the buildup of dry shampoo and hair products and hairspray, and this stuff works amazing like it strips all of that gunk from your hair i'm so happy that this is my free product if you don't know beautylish always does include a free product and they give you a little card about the product and they always put it in this cute little bubble envelope but that's not what we came here for okay so i have the lips right here let me cut open this everything is always so wrapped so nicely like they wrapped it in now i got two velour liquid lipsticks and a lip liner the two velour liquid lipsticks I got are Fully Nude and Strawberry Crush, but look at this packaging. Can we just, oh my gosh, neon green is so cute. Let's pull these out so we can take a look at the shades. This one is Strawberry Crush. Oh my gosh, look at that. So we have the neon green at the top, and then at the bottom you have the writing. It says Strawberry Crush, and then you have the Vlor Liquid Lipstick shade. Now, I will try both of these shades on at the end of the video, but, oh my gosh. And then I got Fully Nude, which is a pinky nude. It's not so much a nude, more of a pink. But again, we have the neon green packaging, and that's the shade. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then I got a lip liner in Posh Spice. Okay, so this is gonna be really bad because I'm like an avid Jeffree Star shopper. I don't own any of his, of his lip liners. I just, I never bought one. So this is the first one I own, and I love that packaging at the top. It's kind of like his lip gloss, and then we have the lip pencil at the bottom. And that's the shade. It is a sharpenable pencil, but that is a-okay. Let's open the main, main attraction. I'm already four minutes into this. Holy cow, and I've done nothing. So uh, this is the cardboard box, which will end up going on one of my shelves right over there. It says Jawbreaker. I love the packaging. And then you open it up, and it's pink in the inside. Oh, and that's what we have. Holy huge. Now, look at that size compared to the mini breaker eyeshadow palette. Let me line the corners up. Holy cow, that is a big palette. This is his biggest palette yet. Let's open it up, I can't wait. So we have a giant mirror. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to stick my fingers in this. I am beyond excited. Okay, so let's compare the Mini Breaker and the Jawbreaker. So those are both palettes side by side. 
Uh, they kind of really do go together. Like this one has more of the purpley's and orangey shade. And this has got a lot of the pastels, which we will be digging into today. Like that whole pastel row is calling my name. But let's look real quick and see if there's any repeat shades. Okay, looks like we have two repeat shades, which are Bubblegum and Bite Me, which are those two shades down at the bottom, which that's fine by me because Bubblegum is a very pretty pink and I didn't use Bite Me last time, but. Okay, so let's, enough blabbering. Let's just do some swatches. I will swatch the first row. Okay, so that's the first row. We have Virgin, Good Morning, which you can't really see because it's very nude and close to my skin tone. Uh, Bubblegum, Wow, which is, that yellow is, whew. Uh, we have Sock, which is an orange, which is like a true orange. And then we have Licorice, which is a true, true red. And let's go on to the next row. That's the second row. So we have cute, uh, that's the F word, and I'm not going to say that on my channel because I would like my channel to stay family friendly. Um, this one is gumdrop, which this row, like the second row is the row I'm going to be digging in the most because oh my gosh. And then that is snack, you guys, this camera is not doing it justice. And then we have brain freeze, which is that blue, and then we have jawbreaker, which is like a white iridescent shade. <sighs> okay, let's swatch the other row. That's the next row. You guys. What? Okay, so we have And What, which is a metallic red. Oh my gosh. We have Orange Juice, which is another like metallic orange. We have Sour. This is Soaked, which is the blue. And then we have Raspberry. And then Cotton Candy, which Cotton Candy felt a little dry in the pan, but holy pigment. Okay, let's move on to the last row. My hands are looking crazy okay and that's the last row so we have lemon drop which this camera's not doing it justice we have bite me which is a repeat shade uh cherry wet which she has a liquid lipstick called cherry wet uh we have tasty which is that chocolate brown we have cone which is that like nude looks like a cone color uh, and then this one is delicious now delicious is like a deep navy blue and that shade it took me about three different times to build that shade up. It was a little chalky. Let me put my hands together and you can kind of see these are the first two rows and the last two rows. Holy cow. It's like hard to show you. Whew. I'm gonna start off with priming my eyes. I'm going to be using the Pure Get A Grip Eyeshadow Primer. Uh, this is not what it comes in. This is just what mine looks like because mine came in a little sample packet and I threw it in a pot. I have an idea of what I want to do. Uh, I'm gonna tell you now, if you came here for a light neutral look with this eyeshadow palette, you're at the wrong channel. Sorry, but not gonna happen here. We are going to be trying to use as many shades as possible and I have an idea of what I want to play with. I'm pretty sure I want to play with a lot of the pastels. Uh, definitely want to play with the iridescent white called Jawbreaker. Like I have an idea and it's not for the faint of heart. So with that being said, I'm sorry if that's what you came here for. Okay, I've screwed you in really, really close. My eyes are primed. This eyeshadow primer is so sticky. I love it. I'm gonna dip into the shade Cute, which is that shade right there. We are going to pop that in the crease. We're gonna be doing like a rainbow look, so just watch. Next, let's move on to Brain Freeze, which is that blue right down here and pop that right next to it. Ooh, I almost dropped the palette. That would have been a bad day. I probably would have cried. So I have that blue popped on. Now, if you notice, I'm not taking it very far on the lid because we will be carving the lid out. I'm just slightly blending it in the crease. And next we're gonna take, okay. I'm gonna take the shade Gumdrop, which is that pastel purple. Like I said, we will be digging into a lot of the purple shades or a lot of the pastel shades, not purple shades. Jeez, oh peach, Jasmine. And then we're gonna be dipping in the shade Bubblegum, which is that bright pink. And then the last shade we are going to be taking in the crease is going to be that shade. Now that's the F word, and we're not gonna be saying that here on my channel, but that's the shade I'm gonna take. 
Okay, so that's what we have. Oh my gosh, I'm dying of a heat stroke under these lights. Next, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and the shade Good Morning, which is that shade right there. It's like a light pinky, almost a white, but like with a pinky tint. And then we're just gonna blend that under my eyebrow and into these shades just to try to melt them all together nicely. I'm gonna be taking the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer in shade C2 and putting some on the back of my hand. And we are going to carve the crease. I'm gonna fix that right up there as well. Okay, now that we have that carved out, I'm going to go through and set that using the Jawbreaker shade from the palette, which is that white iridescent shade. So that's what we have going so far. I am loving it, but Next, we are going to do a wing. What if we take Strawberry Crush and do a wing with that? That would be very cute. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take Strawberry Crush. Uh, if you did not know, his Velour Liquid Lipsticks are eye safe, so I use them on my eyes quite a bit, but we're gonna be taking Strawberry Crush, which is that shade right there, and I'm gonna wing it out. Okay, my wings are not even, like, at all. But the next step is to clean that up and I'm going to take a wipe real quick and just clean that up and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so that's cleaned up and I think since the lid's just really, really bare, I want to take some of these shades from the palette and mix them with, like spray my brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and kind of dot it on the white part and make it kind of look like a jawbreaker. Okay, so I have my MAC Fix Plus and a very small, tiny brush like this and we are just going to douse my brush and take the Jawbreaker palette and go on with some of these bright pastel shades. So for instance, take the F word, take my brush and just like this and then just, I guess, oh, 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 that would have been bad, dot it on the white part of my eye. So we have something like that. And I'm just gonna do that with a bunch of the colors. So that's what we have. And then to make this look a little, you want that part to be look a little more messy. I'm gonna take just a small brush and kind of like, kind of blend them. So we have something like that. And then I'm going to move on to the face and we'll come back to the eyes when we're done. I'm not gonna do any of my face on camera. So let me real quick go off camera. I will come back and tell you what I use when I'm done. Okay, uh, most of my base is done. Let's move into what I used. So I used the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer, Pores No More. I used the Tarte Foam Sealer. I used my Jeffree Star Concealer and Setting Powder. For bronzer, I used my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And for blush, I used the Sugar Cosmetics uh, Mini Blush and Peach Blush. And for my eyebrows, I used the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. Uh, next, we're gonna move right into my under eyes. Now, I'm gonna try to mimic what I did in the crease on my under eyes. Okay. 
Okay, under eyes are done. Next, we're gonna highlight the inner corner and the brow bone. For that, I'm gonna take the shade Snack, which is that shade right there, and we're gonna put that in the inner corner and the brow bone. You guys, that is the finished eye look. I'm gonna highlight real quick using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Crystal Ball Highlighter. This looks like this. Now that I'm highlighted like a disco ball, let's move on to the lips. I'm going to try on both liquid lipsticks for you. We're going to start with Strawberry Crush. That is the shade. Oh, that is a bright shade. But it's like a bright coral. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty though. Not sure how I like it with this eye look. I would normally pair a bright lip like this with a more neutral eye look, but let's try the next one. I love this shade. The shade of this eye look too is gorgeous. Okay, let's move on to mascara and lashes. For mascara, I'm going to real quick apply the Wander Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara along with the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. And they look like this. Very, very pretty, but I will real quick, bloop, I will real quick apply those off camera. Okay guys, lashes are on. They're looking slightly crazy. I got lash glue in this actual lash, so don't mind that. But this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. I love it. Um, recap on this eyeshadow palette, you guys. If you don't already have this you definitely should if you guys are looking for a good fun colorful eyeshadow palette this one and i mean since the mini and the big one go together why wouldn't you just get both i mean if you have not seen my mini breaker review definitely go check it out because i did a really pretty look with this um you guys go get these they have a set for them uh you can get them on beautylish they do afterpay, so you can pay it off in installments. I will have a link down below where you can shop this eyeshadow palette and the entire collection. Go get it. If you guys are looking for a colorful palette, go get them. They are amazing. They blended nicely. These pastels are so pretty. But that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, do not forget to subscribe down below. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And over here, we do a lot of reviews on Jeffree Star products because we love Jeffree Star. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat for a little more behind the scenes look and to know what videos are coming before they're actually released. That is all. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.